It's really cold outside. I haven't really left the house in a couple of days. It's snowing. It's freezing. I've been watching a lot of Friends because Friends is my favorite show in the entire world. Friends is my favorite show in the entire world. It is my comfort show. It is my sometimes I want to cry show. It's my sometimes I want to laugh show. It's my guilty pleasure show. No, it's not because I'm not guilty at all. However, it also recently occurred to me that Friends is the first place that I can remember ever seeing a portrayal of gay people on TV. Now, if you're up on your Friends knowledge at all, you'll remember that my favorite, no, he's not my favorite, one of the main six characters, Ross Geller, starts off the series married to this woman named Carol, but soon afterwards they get divorced because she realizes that she's a lesbian and she pretty much right away gets this new partner named Susan and in the 11th episode of season 2, they get married. The one with the lesbian wedding, as it's called in typical Friends fashion, sparked all this controversy when it first aired, which was, by the way, January 18th, 1996, my fifth birthday, fun fact. Although that's not the day that I watched it. I didn't see it until probably about 10 years later when I was in high school and I had recently fallen in love with Friends and I had also recently fallen in love with a girl for the very first time. And both of those things changed my life, but in very different ways. Some queer people say that the show Queer as Folk is what started to pull them out of the closet. Some lady loving ladies say that the L word had a really big impact on them. But as a baby gay at like 14 or 15, I was too scared to seek out those shows myself. At that time, I didn't really want to be gay because I was really scared and I had internalized homophobia, yada yada, we've talked about this already. Like I was terrified to ever watch the L word at home because God forbid my parents found out and would know what I was up to. But here I am as this dorky, still in the closet teenager who's watching Friends, this classic 90s sitcom for the very first time. And lo and behold, on my screen, there are two lesbians getting married. And for the first time in my life, I said, wow, you know what? That could be me. And that's a really cheesy and corny thing to say, but like for me, it actually made a really big difference. I remember coming to terms with my queerness by saying, okay, you know what? At the very least, at least, at least, I am bi. I'm not a lesbian, and that means I got the easy way out of this. I can marry a guy, I can have babies, I can have benefits, I can have a house in the countryside, I can have everything that society wants for straight people because I can pass it straight. And nobody has to ever know a thing, and so I can just keep this inside me for the rest of my life and that'll be that. This was what was going on in my head, for real. But of course, that is not the way the world works, so as a bi girl, I have dated guys and girls, and I am dating a girl now, and I am very happy, and you know what? Maybe one day I will marry a girl. And because of shows like Friends, I am okay with that, and I know that that's a thing that can happen. Society is a really different place now than it was back in 1996, when I was five years old and this episode was airing for the first time. I mean, marriage equality is legal in what, like 17, 18 states now? Like, I can't even keep track because it's seemingly growing pretty much every day. More than half of the country right now is in favor of marriage equality, which is the first time that has ever happened. The President of the United States has openly supported marriage equality. Marriage is a thing that is plausible for me and for other other ladies who like ladies and for guys who like guys. And that's not to say that Friends was a perfect show when it came to LGBT issues or diversity in general. I mean, it was a show of the 90s, so it had its problems and they got away with some things that totally wouldn't fly on TV nowadays. But let's look at some of the shows that we have on TV right now that are known for being gay friendly or queer friendly. We have The Fosters, we have Modern Family, we have Glee, we have Orange is the New Black, we have Pretty Little Liars, we have a lot of others that I'm forgetting. And I can't tell you how helpful it would have been if some of these shows had been on TV when I was coming out and figuring myself out. I mean, to have seen a gay couple on TV adopting a child, or to have an entire show based on two moms raising a family, or to have a trans character played by an actual trans person. Like, wow, brilliant. How did we never think of that before? And it's not like Friends revolutionized the LGBT movement either, but, but, they showed a lesbian wedding on TV in 1996. Real life lesbians and other queer folks wouldn't be able to get married for another eight years in Massachusetts. There's still thousands of them, if not millions, across the country who still cannot get married to the person they love. And I don't know if it makes it better or worse or neither that Friends wasn't like specifically about gay issues in some way, the way that Modern Family kind of is and The Fosters definitely is and The L Word super 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 was. But maybe that makes it more special that they thought to include it in the storyline at all. I mean, Carol and Susan do come back as recurring characters through the rest of the series, so it's not like they just drop in this lesbian wedding for the ratings and then disappeared completely. They followed through with it and that was really cool. I probably still could have come out okay without the Friends lesbian wedding episode, but you know what? Carol and Susan, you guys, you helped me out big time, so thank you for that. I'm going to love this show dearly for the rest of my life, so whoever I end up with, please know that it's going to be a significant part of our relationship, and if you feel the same way, that's how I'm gonna know you're the one.
And there are a million different reasons for it, and many of them are very dorky, and many of them have to do with my undying love for Chandler Bing, and many of them have to do with how much I want to do a duet of Smelly Cat with Phoebe Buffay, but one reason was because of Carol and Susan, because they were a lesbian couple with a relationship and a family and a marriage, and that might not have meant a lot to a lot of people, but it helped one 15-year-old closeted gay girl feel less alone. So Friends was my first memory of seeing queer people on TV. I would love to hear more about yours in the comment section. Thank you for watching, I will see you next time. Smelly cat, smelly cat, what are they feeding you? Smelly cat, smelly cat, it's not your fault. I should really learn to play this.